converted my basic car into a house. I'm on a solo journey, trying to reach south of Europe through the countryside while living in my car. Hello, my friends. Today, I'm gonna see if I can pass the Spanish border. Normally, the insanity pass is required. I'm really not interested in it. I will not be surprised if uh, there's a border control and they shoot me back to France. I'm gonna try it. I have a knot in my stomach. Huh? It's not feeling like a smooth vacation right now because uh, well, I really think I'm gonna be arrested. Uh, I'm gonna have to pay a fine or something. I would be very surprised if I could just pass the border with my weird uh, tuned car with a solar panel on the roof and cables sticking out and all my junk. If they have a look, uh, I'm probably gonna be stopped uh, not just for the COVID, uh, also because they wanna, wanna see how many drugs I'm carrying. Which, by the way, are zero. Feeling uh, quite stressed out right now. Uh, pass the border without the, the requirements. This is the last uh, stretch of road. Dans 300 meters, continue tout droit. In Spain, that I'm passing right now. And I can tell you that I have a mega knot in my stomach. Uh, just to be clear, I know it looks ridiculous like this. They've been saying in the media that all borders were checked by border control because of the COVID. Now we have this, so it's very underwhelming. I know there could be some mobile patrols a bit later down the road. Uh, there's sign in Spanish now. Shit, we're officially in Spain. Oh, I can't believe it. Really, that was it? Oh, I'm going to pee. I have shivers like <laughs> It's so stupid. I'm shivering from what just happened. Just because I just passed the road. Really, that's it. There's not going to be any, any other checkup. Are you serious? Well, that's nice, huh? At least uh, the open borders that Europe promised us in exchange for accepting this amount of control over our lives is still going a bit. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Okay. Boom. Oh, now, new problem. I don't know a word of Spanish. Holy fuck balls of Moses. We're in Spain. <sighs> Woo! It's like the whole new horizon of possibilities open up again. I wonder if I can make it to Portugal. Well, I don't know Spain at all. So I'm a bit curious to see uh, what's in it. Uh, it's very beautiful, but it's getting warmer. It's uh, supposed to be uh, autumn. Most places in France are really cold. And here we arrive. It's totally summer vacation. Uh, let's go to the beach. No COVID. <laughs> First night in Spain. This campground is not great and I can't speak Spanish at all. So it's gonna be difficult to seduce people into letting me stay on their land. <laughs> so a new challenge. Tomorrow I need to make a plan because I barely expected to pass the border today. So now I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> what do we do here already? I wanna see what the rural, 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 rural Spain is like. But uh, yeah, I'm super happy that I can finally sleep. Good night. They've been packing their shit for at least uh, one hour and a half. Good morning. First morning waking up in Spain. 28 euros. Just because I had to stay in a doomed campground. It's all damp and cold and shaded. Disgusting place. I'm joking. It's probably okay when it's dry, but right now everything is so... Look. Ah. Ah. Ah, that's disgusting. Ah. 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 Go away. Uh, Spain is so doomed. I just want to be in the f***ing nature, alone, quietly, without any humans, without any interaction, without having to decontaminate an entire toilet contaminated by the human covidos every time I want to piss. You know where I piss? On the lawn, like an animal. I really just can't wait to pack on my shit and just get the f*** out of here and turn the heater on. What the f*** is this place? Welcome to Spain. Actually, uh, to be fair, uh, I shouldn't call this Spain because uh, the people here want to be separated from Spain for a very long time because, uh, born well, never be part of a big country, you know, so it's very probably their right. It's Catalonia, uh, and they are trying to be independent of Spain, but Spain, uh, they prefer to keep it, of course, uh, has more money. So, well, I wake up in a grumpy mood. <laughs> I can't speak Spanish. 
yet. It's harder to play my charmer. But uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to be charming without words. Let's go. I find myself in a natural reserve. The entrance guy, well, he's very nice. It's not his fault. Huh? You're not allowed to stay anywhere, especially in this fucking one that sounds awesome. And so now here I am in this uh, humanized park of doom with two million introductions following his advice because it's supposed to be nice while totally not taking care of my camping situation for the evening and getting doomed again tonight. Voila! In the meantime, let's appreciate this massive right in front of another perfect sleeping spot. Wow. First night in Spain or in Catalonia, outside of a campground, undercover. I took this trail here, I arrive here. We have this friend here. We have my favorite. It's not very clear because you would think it means don't shoot, but I think it just means don't shoot in that direction. All of this is a private uh, hunting ground, so there could be hunters tomorrow morning. I love that. Here we have a um, hunting under specific regulation. Let's hope the regulation is that uh, you're not allowed to hunt. Well, anyway, it's just for one night. At least here I'm gonna be able to cook, to shower. I haven't showered since I'm in Spain. Sleep at least until sunrise. Uh, it's difficult at uh, the beginning uh, of a new country when you don't speak the language uh, and to get information on where to go or what's okay. Or like if I see a landowner, uh, good luck to ask him permission for staying on his land without speaking his language. Huh? <laughs> So I'm a bit exhausted, but it's a bit normal that it's a bit at the beginning like this. At least we're in the nature, it's not too bad. Everywhere is super beautiful. Uh, Spain has a lot of mountains, I really love it. The only problem is that they really ruined everything because uh, everything is <laughs> just like France. Uh, private property, uh, no space to park, uh, you have to go to campgrounds that seem even more expensive than France. Uh, well, maybe I haven't figured it out yet. First wake up in the nature, in Spain or in the nature. As soon as I'm out in my pyjama, exactly my favorite thing happens. A guy in his 4x4 wheel making a mega mess of dust tops here. So I tell hello. It's not allowed to sleep here. I talked to the other owner yesterday. Uh, he said it's okay. Yeah, okay, you leave soon. And the other owner I saw yesterday to ask him uh, to stay. He said that I cannot make a fire. <laughs> So, just to add a little level of uh, complexity, I can't cook. I understand, they're very panicked about the fire here. It's quite dry, but where I stopped here is just rocks. I'm extremely careful. It's not a fire, it's just a little small gas uh, outlet, huh? Anyway, so now I have to leave. Now, with no breakfast. I'm gonna be in a very good mood today, huh? I just try to comply with the Spanish rules and go to a campground. Arrive in this really in the middle of nowhere campground. Huh? What do you know? The campground is completely full. It's funny how it's become really impossible to sleep anywhere without paying money. They manage to monetize sleeping. You have to pay in order to sleep somewhere. But anyway, I can't find a place to sleep and I can't even cook my breakfast. <laughs> I think right now would be a good moment to watch uh, an old clip. One of my first impressions when I left the, the house uh, more than 50 days ago. Let's watch this clip and recall this good old mindset I was in. Bye bye, a bientôt, bye bye. bye, -bye. Hold the f down. Okay. I'm having this sensation, which I think is good, knowing that you can just drive wherever you want without caring of where you're gonna sleep or what time you need to arrive somewhere. So you can just stop anywhere. But little did I know. I was so naive. <laughs> I finally found a spot where maybe I won't be bothered too much. Although I suspect over there this house is probably gonna come check out what the f*** is happening with a guy doing something as crazy as parking here, making a, a, a porridge in his, in his car. Oh, wow, we really need to investigate this in an extreme emergency. 
the hardest part about uh, surviving is really not the surviving it's mostly dealing with human interdictions like all of this again it's a hunting area like i probably can't stay here it's just on and on like this but really the the feeding the finding water the sleeping the keeping clean that's really easy huh? look at this massive awesome campground uh, no 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 we must be sure that there is absolutely nobody taking advantage of us other than ourselves this total dissociation between humans and nature now you can't really be in the nature you can temporarily visit it but you can't be in it this is a paradise spot here if only i could stay around here there's just fences everywhere and signs everywhere you can only be on the path oh my god it's over i've just been walking 15 minutes huh Fuck. it's really beautiful i apologize for ranting a lot i know i'm ranting a lot these past few days because of uh, how unbelievable it is to be in so much nature where nowhere you're allowed to be but uh, i promise uh, i'm gonna figure it out and we're gonna go back to the normal vibe where we're just uh, tripping in the nature but for now what the holy quack, quack, do you think you're quack. doing welcome my friends i'm gonna show you the doomed campground i found myself in because all the nature has been hijacked by government supporting private property and hunters hello uh, welcome it's super nice this is always a good sign then you have to get the covid by touching the gate why do we still have handles on gates and doors we don't need handles we need foot foot doors campground right now is completely full. All the morons from Barcelona come here thinking that's an experience of nature. It's weird the Spanish, they speak so loud. They're not very evolved though. I'm sorry I'm going to trust the Spanish a bit but uh, sometimes you're being a bit stupid uh, the Spanish. Uh, I spent the whole day trying to sleep somewhere in your nature and France is already f***ed about that but you're even f***ed with all your amazing beautiful areas of nature and landscape completely parked up by signs for private hunting so you're not about to be there it's just for hunting usually i support the catalonian but right there with your hunting you are completely fucked in the dick if you have any because clearly you're replacing it with a gun as you can see here i really enjoy the humans I got doomed today. This is the edge of the campground. Very special little aesthetic enhancements. Ah, it's nice to be in the nature. I really feel like I'm getting some fresh air. This is what we want. This is nature for us nowadays. Thank you for that nice uh, auditive experience you're producing for everyone on your path, just so you can displace your body from one place to another. But that's just This one believes it's not a good idea to follow me. I'm gonna indoctrinate you into stopping hunting, even though your masters are starving you so that you're very hungry. Let's see, go. I know you wanna pass and see your friends. Go, go. Wait, yeah, c'est bon. Mais... Don't pretend like you found something. There's nothing, you're just scared. The only one left in this campground now. All the Spanish tombs left and went back to Barcelona. I don't know if you remember the mega brothel it was. People everywhere. I made friends with the owner of the campground who rescued this pig from the hunter's dementia many years ago. Buenas tardes. It's the morning. It's 9 a.m. It's been raining all night. Everything is mega damp outside. Oh, fuck. I'm supposed to leave today. I need to pack the car, but in the rain like this, like everything outside is damp. You hear this sound? Oh, night like this. And this works pretty well, no? Totally dry here. 
Alors, I have a new problem. Apparently, the water went through this that is attached to the outside like this. So the water impregnated this and it's been dripping here all night onto my shoes. It's completely wet inside. These are my only shoes. It's not going to be sunny today. It's just going to be frank like this. Ah, oh, fuck. This is not nice, huh? It's a bit hardcore these days. I just have to deal with it. But it's important to complain about it too. What the piss? What the crap? What the piss? I don't know why this rain managed to dirty the car more than clean it. Look, it's fucking disgusting. It's been raining on it and it's even more dirty now. How am I supposed to put this in the car now? Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Shit. I have to put this shit in the car. Spain is really not treating me nice, huh? It's probably because they're morons. <laughs> it's super cold. The last thing I need to have is cold feet. Where the fuck? I need to pee in crap. Manipulating disgusting shit is what I do best. <laughs> what a do. Surprisingly, I think it's working. It works a bit, huh? Well, not bad, it's dry. Yesterday, the owner of the campground, we had a little chat and he's super friendly and he left me a Catalonian beer. From here, I'm gonna leave him a beer of mine, which I don't think they have here. This is really probably the doomest part of the trip so far. I'm going to a spot that I found on a forum. It's supposed to be nice and legal to spend the night there, but it's already almost it's 6 p.m. All I did today is pack the car from being super wet in the morning go to a supermarket it's nicer the prices in Spain are not too high but well, I didn't go to an organic shop yet so I can't even find them I ate a doomed a supermarket sandwich and that's it okay we're almost there what is it gonna be like what other problems could there be the region here is so nice it's really beautiful Spain huh? it's gonna be in the shade Votre destination se trouve sur la gauche. Quack. that's the thing there on the right there Ooh. Maybe here. Is this the toilet area? I made a system that is completely autonomous. I can park anywhere. I can sleep with no amenities in the middle of nowhere. Right now, I'm trying not to push my luck because you're not allowed to sleep anywhere you want, except in Finland and maybe Norway. This is becoming more of a hobo trip than a trip in the nature. Huh? I really hope I can adapt uh, to Spain soon in order to go back in the nature. Cause this is really dirty and yeah. finally the solar panel is charging again a bit from the last doomed days in the clouds but uh, even in the shade cloud and rain for two days the battery didn't go lower than 72 percent which is still like right now it's almost already full again just with a few hours of sun in the day so this system is really good huh? i really calibrated it to my usage really perfectly i actually overkilled always overkill in life this spot looks not too bad for a spot that is more or less legal. It's not in the middle of nature, right? And uh, probably all these animals are gonna die when the night falls. Uh, given the circumstances and how much more difficult it seems to be to just uh, sleep in the nature in Spain, I'm pretty happy with this spot. So hopefully it will stay calm tonight. There could be a bunch of junkies arriving here and doing a rave party. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, as long as there's uh, nobody insecure in the group. And by nobody insecure, I mean policemen. Well, now I'm gonna make a sandwich. Very good one, of course. Thanks to this uh, beautiful fridge, I'm still able to use the tomatoes and the cucumber that come from the wife of the owner of that farm. Hey, oh, fuck up, there's so many flies here. Farm in the Pyrenees back in France two weeks ago. She grows them organically, so now we have this luxury in Spain. Always try to keep a little bit of luxury in your life. Now I'm uh, cooking in the car because uh, well, there's a bit of a wind outside and we're in Spain, it's been dry so I see a car pass, it stops there in the dark with its lights on and it turns out a uh, blue light on the roof, massive blue light and we're in the middle of nowhere huh? and there's just stop like this over there so I turn off all my lights and uh, I turn off the gas and everything now I'm feeling like I'm a fugitive huh? well they went but it's actually the second time I see them pass by I guess the third time will be for me. There's people over there, I think. So I'm trying to. 
to shave discreetly so that if I have to interact with people, I don't look like a complete homeless guy. It's always a bit weird to leave the car like this in an unknown country. Never completely sure you're gonna find it again. Atmosphere. No stop, stand on sleep, ready to go deep inside. And all we done it clearly perfect. Come stop, we attracted by research of open mind. potential spot for the night Let's see if you take a spot for the night don't do this because then this is why a spot for the night becomes illegal guys come on no, 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 no. Then this is why it's impossible to sleep in the nature because you behave worse than humans this is a fucking prostitution zone oh, no, no. and even a primate is probably more clever than that Nice here. It's really important uh, if we go in the nature that we leave it extremely clean. Otherwise, all the environmental administrators are going to be very pissed when they see this. And it's understandable. They're just going to make everything illegal. So really, we have to be very responsible and keep everything clean. So that when the admins of nature come and say, Hello, let's intervene here. It's time for me to impose my law onto something so that I can feel useful. We can tell them, well, actually, no, 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 no. It's totally fine here. There's nothing dirty except you. I followed the GPS to this organic shop. And I find myself in a massive doom hole like this. I have not been in a place like this for almost two months. Oh my God. So we're leaving the town with uh, some good food and stock. This was weird. Huh? Being at the town all in a sudden, it's very weird. Going back into the nature. is my discretion light. Although I'm in the nature, I'm not super far from small roads and sometimes someone passes by. And as usual, we always want to avoid any possible human contact of any form. It's 7.30 a.m. I'm very happy. I just decided to go back up and try to see if the sunset is gonna be nice. It's already starting a little bit. So let's hurry the fuck up. Oh, it's gonna be nice. I'm doing something a bit weird as part of the new direction of my film, which is gonna be a little bit about uh, how humans have put nature behind gates and borders. I'm shooting the time lapse to have this shot behind this fence to help uh, illustrate the point. Nowadays, uh, a lot of parts of nature, due to private property or environmental laws or hunting areas, are inaccessible. I have so many good sunset and sunrise time lapses that uh, well, I'm taking the risk and see how this one looks. Uh, a beautiful sunset that uh, everyone wants to walk towards, but you can't 
Because the humans bought a fucking gate. Hey, but Mekul is totally out of frame. You missed the sun. Wait a minute, my little bimboleros. The camera is slowly doing a movement like this, so it will end completely in the frame. You have to think a little bit. Curious, see what's up there. Again, awesome, amazing camping spots. It was just okay to stay here. This entire place is a hunting area. That's enough now. Everyone here must be a hunter. Fuck. Look at this massive plateau. That is really nice and really amazing. It's so flat and yet uh, not at the bottom of the earth, like we're a bit in altitude here. Well, if I could only stay there over there. But it's very bothersome. My plan today uh, was to go reach a campground, more or less uh, legal. But now that I see this, it's so nice. The view extends so far away. I think there's going to be a beautiful sunset and maybe sunrise. <laughs> maybe sunrise like I'm already speaking like I'm spending the night there no uh, for now I'm gonna bring the car up park on the side of that field make food because I'm hungry spend a bit of time there see if anyone passes by if yes I'll definitely try to ask if nobody passes by and the evening comes maybe I'll try my second chance uh, sleeping in the nature on a private property so for now I'm going up and I'm gonna cook look at the atmosphere here don't ever leave your rabbit without supervision in this area. I don't know if you can see. There's so many flies right now. Every time you bring something from civilization, you have all the flies who arrive like, yeah, it's our deliverance. Finally, we're going to be rich. <laughs> you can't see, but there's so many flies in the car right now. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cook in this shit. If you find yourself in a situation where there are way more flies than people, consider yourself lucky. And uh, <laughs> the easiest trick to do is to try to completely ignore them. If you start being bothered by them, it's never gonna end. Right now it's really warm. It's so warm that I took my top off, but I'm not gonna show you because this is not a porno. This is all called a steppe. So it's a large area of land without much uh, vegetation. And we're cooking. Flajoli beans. No, don't ever use gravity as a force. With uh, tofu, eggs, and a shitload of garlic. Well, the situation right now is uh, it's really beautiful. It's super peaceful. I haven't been bothered by anyone yet. 
So I'm really gonna try to spend the night here and hopefully not get woken up in my pyjama and I'll get up early anyway to shoot the sunrise. So quite really nice spot. Probably the best in Spain so far. I'm quite happy. The closest uh, sign of civilization is over there. It's a gas station. Good morning. Uh, uh, test uh, one, two. Uh, can I speak? One, two. Today, my idea is to film the sunset or rise, no matter how words work, behind this tree over there. I have this tree in the foreground. So, let's try to do something super artistic at 7 a.m. So, let's see if it works. Starting. Let's go see if it's behind the tree. I think I'm a bit off, but the compass is not that precise, huh? That should look nice. Well, it's not exactly behind the tree, but not too bad. Some people just arrived in this completely empty spot. Oh, they're probably just farmers. So anyway, good thing I finished uh, packing the car. It's probably time to go.